yeah <coughs> welcome to the tutorial 2 and uh, in this ma'am has given uh, uh, this dem extracted uh, it's from the, uh, it can be downloaded from the classroom uh, i'll also leave the link to this uh, in the description below okay let's get started uh, this time I uh, am doing this in Windows as a uh, like there's a problem with the stream order in macOS so uh, this time I open I logged in to my Windows uh, in my laptop and then doing it uh, through Windows yeah I'm opening QGIS uh, 3.16 uh, even in macOS it was 3.16 uh, the same thing here yeah and uh, s uh, same as uh, before uh, this uh, I created a uh, file called a folder called QGIS it's on the uh, it's on the desktop and I move the downloaded DEM extracted file into this yeah and then um, everything uh, whatever layers and all will i will be forming throughout this tutorial i'll be saving in this uh, folder itself yeah uh, yeah uh, now let us uh, like uh, i'll quickly show the previous setup like uh, in the previous video and even i leave the previous videos uh, link in the description okay uh, the first thing you need to do is plugins manage plugins and then um, small yeah you just type quick map services yeah and install this plugin okay after installing go to web uh, web map services or osm uh, osm standard yeah yeah you got this uh, yeah okay now what we have to do is uh, go here uh, this place uh, down okay and then uh, WGS 84 UTM zone 45 n if you don't get it here you just need to type uh, 45 n and you will find it here you just select it and then click on apply and then uh, oh, cancel. Yeah. Oh, this is WGS eighty four. Yeah, this one. And this, you just uh, click on this and then apply, and then okay. Yeah. Once again, check it. Go here. Uh, you just need to select here WGS eighty four UTM zone forty five and then, then okay. Uh, now all set now what you need to do is same as uh, yesterday like the previous video uh, layer add layer add raster layer and then uh, these three dots and then already the folder is opened here so i'm just gonna select this dm extracted uh, and then i'm gonna add it here okay Oh, I added it twice so let me remove it once remove layer yeah okay yeah <coughs> this is the DEM extracted okay <coughs> yeah now what we have to do is uh, and like uh, we need to follow a few extra steps which was not discussed in the first tutorial uh, like we need to go to okay and here we don't see this uh, uh, processing toolbox i'm going to close this and to see the processing toolbox as i said before this gear icon you get the processing toolbox or else go to processing and then toolbox you get the uh, processing toolbox or else you go to view uh, panels and then click on uh, processing toolbox yeah here uh, you will get it these are the three ways to get the processing toolbox yeah you need this here you you just uh, keep the processing toolbox ready okay 
now this is the DEM extracted yeah now talking about the extra steps uh, you need to go to Rasta you need to go to projections and then warp uh, reproject and then click here and then uh, you just click on this uh, small globe icon uncheck this box uh, select this coordinate system and then ok similarly do it here uncheck this box select this coordinate system and then ok and then uh, leave this uh, as nearest neighbor and then l uh, leave these two as uh, not set and not set and then click here save to file uh, already that folder is open you just uh, put this name as de uh, wait, dem projected okay and then i'm going to save this and then run yeah uh, this layer is formed close it and then after th uh, this layer is formed you just need to uh, remove the dm extracted layer and then okay yeah now you have this yeah uh, then then what you need to do um, you just uh, follow the previous step uh, like uh, you just need to go to uh, processing toolbox and then type fill and then fill things Wang and Louis yeah and double click it we don't need uh, flow directions now we don't need what uh, watershed basin so uncheck these two now we need fill dem so we need to we need this and dem projected is already selected here so it's all right and then now we need to click this uh, click this uh, thing and save to file and then uh, you just uh, fill just keep the file name as fill and then save it and then run yeah, it takes uh, some time Task is finished. Okay, and then I'm closing this. Uh, we got the fill layer. Okay. Uh, now, like before, we need to go to properties, uh, symbology, then single pan pseudo color. Uh, click on minimum maximum value settings, and then change this to actual, and then click here. Uh, create create new color ramp. Uh, go to this and uh, uh, catalog CPTCT. Okay. Yeah. And then topography. And then elevation. Oh, wait. Topography. And then uh, where do we get this elevation? Topography elevation yeah yeah okay uh, you just see these two so you just go to uh, exact okay you get all these colors and then go back to linear uh, and then yeah uh, i guess that's it uh, you just click okay yeah uh, now the fill layer is ready after the, after doing this then uh, same as yesterday uh, you need to go to processing toolbox and then just type stra straler order okay you get this you select this already here fill is there you click here save file and then save this as stream order okay and then save it here and then click on run
this task is also finished so I'm going to close it yeah and uh, this looks like this one okay uh, yeah so uh, this is the stream order actually in uh, this QGIS version of Mac OS uh, this was kind of inverted the white the white part is looking as black and the black part is looking as white so uh, I had to log in into windows so this is this uh, and then um, the one represents uh, the smallest uh, stream and the 11 represents the largest stream like one is for the smallest river and 11 is for the um, largest river and this streams are uh, streams generated are based on the dm we have uh, like mam has provided us then we use the stream order to get the catchment area like catchment boundaries not area uh, uh, without this uh, stream order like we cannot get this uh, uh, catchment boundaries okay uh, then uh, like I'm going to uncheck this fill uh, DM projected and stream order yeah like we see this Kongchobati uh, river okay uh, this river like we are basically um, want to delineate the catchment area or like the basin of this river so uh, we are uh, like we f we found this stream order okay so now what we have to do is um, uh, like uh, uh, as this uh, yeah as a stream order uh, uh, has uh, like many uh, smaller streams also like many smaller streams also are shown here like it is very difficult for us to delineate the uh, uh, exact catchment boundaries uh, for this uh, particular river so we need to set a threshold value for this uh, larger rivers okay so to set the threshold values uh, to the larger rivers um, uh, we need to go to uh, raster uh, wait yeah now uh, we need to go to raster and then go to raster calculator and then uh, double click here and then at the stream order uh, you get this here and then greater than or equal to you type 8 okay and then uh, output layer you save this where in the same QGIS uh, where is that folder here here I guess this one here yeah. I'm saving here as uh, it has a stream 8 okay and save and then okay yeah see this uh, all these smaller rivers are been gone are gone and then we just see this uh, larger uh, larger rivers only okay uh, this is this and then after this uh, we again uh, uh, change the style of stream eight like uh, to make it more prominent uh, we just uh, go to its properties uh, and then a single band pseudo color minimum maximum change this to actual and then uh, you find no color here like you just click here and select something I select green and then what you need to do now is uh, we have to do now is select all these things like uh, select till one uh, hold shift and select this con 
control and unselect one like except one you need to remove all these things like all these colors you need to remove except one you need to keep one okay and to remove you just need to click on this minus red minus and they're all gone after doing this you just add a color okay uh, and then you just uh, uh, click apply and then okay see now it looks this way yeah now after this uh, you again need to go to its uh, properties and then do what uh, go to its transparency and here is enter zero and then apply and then okay okay yeah now uh, when we zoom yeah now you can see this uh, these lines uh, these lines uh, which are formed okay now uh, let's change this color from this dark green okay going back to properties and then uh, symbology and then this color and uh, i'm changing this to blue okay as uh, river is blue and then i click on okay uh, and then um, okay it yeah now we have this see you can see the change in blue color yeah now it is fine uh, after doing this uh, the next thing we need to do uh, is uh, we need to uh, have the channel network and drainage basins okay so you just type here channel yeah you get here channel network and drainage basins okay you double click here okay and then you need to change this to fill yeah you need to remember this okay and then you change the threshold value to 8 and then um, we need flow direction now uh, we just uh, click here save file and enter the file name as flow direct and then save it and then uh, uh, flow connectivity is not required uh, Staller order is already there okay and then drainage basins is required but uh, these drainage basins we keep and we uncheck this because uh, this format is different and, uh, we need uh, a different format and uh, we don't want this junctions okay uh, and uh, you save this file also as channels save and then uh, you save this file as basins save okay and then I am running this I could silence those dogs yeah uh, here you go the task is finished and then I'm closing this yeah you get something like this it's completely black uh, like basically it's black because uh, uh, like you cannot see anything now but after changing uh, its style like we'll be able to understand uh, what is it and how it looks okay now just uncheck this flow direction and yeah here you get this yeah this uh, this ash color thing grayish thing is basically the basin the basin or catchment area and this channel is in 
this green color okay these channels are in green color and then uh, we have got uh, that's it here yeah. this uh, this uh, the channels are in green color and the basin is uh, basins are in uh, uh, this uh, ash color okay uh, now when we check fill it looks like this okay and uh, qgis uh, all these layers are like uh, 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 like they're all uh, together now the next task that we need to do is uh, we need to extract this um, only this catchment area and remove all the other things uh, and then uh, and the next other task is uh, about the thesian uh, polygons uh, like uh, this tutorial this tutorial ends here uh, and we'll get back to you uh, I'll get back to you with the uh, next part uh, in a few days thank you for watching and don't forget uh, subscribing if you haven't done it already and uh, of course leave your comments below thank you